Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the flight model and weapon systems of the VNAO T-45 Gossel. Right, so we're taking off here from Kassab, and pretty smooth takeoff. Had to fix my head tracker there. Doesn't want to climb particularly well, but looking at the cockpit, this is really, really good. This is definitely up to high fidelity module standards. For sure. So here I start exploring the cockpit a little bit and it looks really, really good. We've got two fully functional MFDs, which I had a time trying to figure out how to use. Fortunately, there's not a whole lot to it, just a few various pages, such as the nav screen, and the SMS page, of course, and then the instruments page, which I don't really know the name of it off the top of my head, but it includes the artificial horizon and virtual speed indicator and various other things like that. So the flight model is pretty good for an early release version of an aircraft like this. In fact, I tend to think it's probably about on par with what you would expect from the first release of an early access module for DCS, and uh, i tell you what, VNAO has definitely delivered what they promised, and maybe even more. This is a really, really great mod. So this thing really doesn't have any weapons, all it can carry are the smoke rockets and practice rockets, which pretty much do nothing. The smoke rockets are more useful than the practice ones because it helps you see where you hit a little bit better in my opinion, but it can still be used for practice, so no big deal there, and it's one of the few aircraft we have in DCS that is carrier capable, so I'm not complaining too much, and that is realistic for the T-45 as well. It can also carry practice bombs, although you really can't see very well where these hit, as far as I'm aware. But we've got some smoke rockets today, and we're going to go ahead and line up on this island just to have a quick shot with these and see what they're like. So the rockets have a fixed gun sight that you can adjust the depression on, and you need to use a dive table for that. or whatever it's called, a ballistics table, I believe it is. It, some kind of kneeboard diagram in order to get it right, otherwise you just are going to have to guess on the dive angle and the amount of depression you need. And uh, as you can see there, I had it nowhere close that time. So I'll go ahead and reset it, and let's go around it and have another go. So here my approach is better, I do get a little bit low here at the end, but otherwise I'm pretty much able to hit where, kind of where I'm aiming. So it, it just took some fiddling with it to get it right. Of course the smart thing to do would be to find it, the table that you need and take a look at it to determine 
right settings you need so you can get it right the first time, which is definitely something you should do in the T-45 because you only get 14 rockets maximum in this thing. So let's go ahead and check out the carrier capabilities of the T-45. So here I've got a couple of admissions to make. First of all, I'm not very good at carrier landings. Second, I do not have super carrier, so that'll explain the lack of deck crewmen on the flight deck. I'm just using the free Stennis aircraft carrier, and hopefully before long, Hitler will release the forestal carrier, so I'll be able to use that one too. But still, that won't give me super carrier ability, the kind of functionality that Super Carrier has, so unfortunately that's just something that I'll have to live with. Super Carrier isn't very important, but as you can see here, it's fairly easy once you get the hang of it to land this thing on the carrier, and unlike the A29, which I have tested on board a carrier because for some reason it can be put on a carrier in the mission editor, it doesn't fall through the deck, which is really, really nice. So I did approach the limits of the flight model here a little bit, and when you do get to the extremities, the upper end of the flight model and the very lower end too, you start to experience some weird stuff going on, but other than that, this thing is very much a fully functional aircraft. That'll pretty much do it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Please like and subscribe for more.